Hey guys, so it is finally happening. It's finally happening. Um, I am finally sitting here and recording my first ever skincare video. Never in a million years would I have thought I'd be sitting in front of a camera with not a spot of makeup on and, you know, just being completely comfortable in my skin. And let me tell you, it's been a long journey to get here and I'm so ready to share with you guys everything I've learned. My personal skincare journey begins as a teenager. I think I was about 13 when I first started noticing that I had really oily skin. And then soon after, you know, one acne came out, another, another, another. And before I knew it, my face was just full of acne as a teenager. And when I mean full, I mean everywhere, like all over my cheek, my forehead everywhere i always thought you know okay by the time you grow up a little older it's all gonna go away and then it's gonna be fine like a lot of my friends had it too but then theirs went away but to my despair as i grew older and i became 18 and 19 and 20 it just wouldn't go away even worse i think i had the worst phase of my acne when i was older like in i think my 23 or 24 as you can see in this image here, was how my skin looked when I was 23. I was starting out on Instagram and I remember I would Photoshop every single like pimple out of my skin and like smooth my skin. In the beginning, all of you, you know, followed me back then and talking about how amazing my skin looked and I felt like such a, a liar that like in real life my skin was full of acne and online I was doing this horrible thing where I was posting a version of myself that it wasn't. But so when it got really bad, at one point I made this whole video on my YouTube already about my acne journey, but uh, I went on to grow Accutane, um, which is a very, very strong drug because it is something that you do as a last resort when nothing else has worked out. So I did that. Um, and then within four months, all my acne had gone. But what I was left with was 10 years worth of acne scarring. So then this whole new journey started where I, for the first time in my life, really started diving deep into skincare and learning what it's all about and what have I been doing wrong the last 10 years that it's lasted, you know, so long that my skin was super aggravated and full of acne all the time. I'm gonna do a series of these skincare videos so I can, you know, explain everything to you guys in like proper detail. But to start off with, I think there's four main things that I've learned about skincare. One is that skincare is very holistic. Um, I think it's a big mistake that we all think that skincare only depends on the products you put on your skin. It is the products you put on your skin. It is what you put inside your body and how good like your gut health is. It is, um, you know, how much you work out, how much stress you have, how your hormones are doing. Like skincare is not just, oh, I'm gonna put this on my skin and then everything is gonna be okay. It is such a 360 holistic thing that to truly get good skin, you need to take care of all aspects of it. So that's one. Number two is that skin takes time. That is, I think, one of the biggest mistakes I made early on um, when I had acne. Like I would try something and then panic after 24 hours that it didn't work and then quickly try something else and then try something else. And it just, you know, messed up my skin's pH level and balance and your skin just gets aggravated even more. Um, so in general, I would say just whenever you start something new take it slow give it time and you know only after let's say a month if it doesn't work then switch to something else um, and just realize that your skin does take time the worst mistake you can do is put too many new things and try to make a difference number three golden rule is that less is more and this is something again i learned the hard way but truly with skincare Educate yourself and learn more about the ingredient that you need to make the difference. And, you know, because my mom is an Ayurvedic doctor, I've learned so much about 
Ayurvedic remedies and herbs that really help but I personally like combining the Ayurvedic herbs with you know ingredients that science has also found to work really well combine them together to kind of get the best of both worlds and for me I've seen that that combination is really potent and I really love it so basically combining say my you know glowy mask that I can make in my kitchen with uh, a really good ingredient that then I will use as my moisturizer and then together I really see the benefit has been double for me so essentially it's about educating yourself and then just less is more like lately I'm not really a fan of you know putting too many different things on my skin as much as I love the whole Koreans 10 step skincare routine now my skincare routine is so minimal just use things that work and that's it so that would be golden rule three and then golden rule four the last one as much as you know you do with eating right and you know putting good ingredients on your skin and you know less stress and all of that when there's something really harsh with your skin when you have deep scars the only thing that can help is going to a proper sort of clinic or a doctor or a facialist there's amazing like machines and gadgets out there nowadays that truly can help with scarring can help with discoloration with anything you could basically wish for so i am personally a big fan of also say once a month doing something with skincare gadgets or with a facialist or like actually doing something a bit manual to your skin instead of just putting products and that kind of just adds that extra oomph to um you know healing your skin and getting it back to its original state so those would be my four skincare golden rules uh, that I've seen that really worked for me and so this is the end of the phase one of this skincare series in phase two I'm gonna go through exactly the products I use in my minimal skincare routine so look out for that video coming up very soon Mwah. bye guys